This is a hardware overview of the ProXR Lite one channel 10 amp relay controller. This is a USB version with a USB module installed. Uh, over here we have three connections for a 10 amp relay. Uh, we also have this relay available in a 5 amp, a uh, high power 20 and 30 amp and solid state relays. Um, these three connections are used to uh, switch things on and off. They're, they are uh, normally open, common, and normally closed. Uh, over here we have an ad hoc jumper. This jumper will, would be used if we had the Wi-Fi module installed. Okay, here we have a 12 volt power connector. Uh, this allows you to directly wire uh, power to this controller. Here's eight channels of 8-bit or, or 10-bit analog input. Uh, ground, and then you've got eight channels and a ground. Uh, these inputs are used to uh, directly control the relay. Uh, you can use it to flash the relay. Uh, you can also use it to hook up sensors like uh, temperature and humidity sensors and contact closure inputs. So if, you, if you need manual control of the relay, you can do that. Um, uh, here we have a 2.1 millimeter barrel connector. This barrel connector is used to provide power uh, to this controller. It's a 12 volt center positive power supply. Uh, we have a program run jumper. Normally you're going to leave this controller in program mode, but if you uh, have some problems with your settings, you can always recover those settings by setting it in, in program mode and then running base station. Here we have an up-down jumper. This up-down up -down jumper is used to uh, pull these analog inputs up or down, so you can pull them high or you can pull them low. That's really important because you don't want to leave analog inputs floating. A floating analog input is a, an input that isn't connected. So analog inputs always have to be connected. Uh, they either need to be connected to ground or to five volts through a resistor. This board's got onboard 10K resistors, and those resistors are pulled high and low with the up-down jumper. The busy ready LED indicates the status of this controller. Normally it's in ready mode. However, during communications, it'll switch over to busy and then it'll switch back to ready once it's finished executing your command. If you have any questions on this controller, please let us know. We'd be glad to help you out.